In this example, we will be explaining how to remove the element numbering from use case diagrams, the use case, and the actor. So from that, we'll get started. So we have Cameo up with a use case diagram up and running. We see our actors and our use case, and we see that they have this unwanted numbering, actor ID equals one, use case ID equals one, et cetera, that we want to remove. So what we're gonna do is we can click on this, right click it, go to symbol properties, and then you can select or just type in numbering to the search toolbar or number. And then this right here toggles the actor's ID equals, but you can go down here and then say, do not display on symbol. And it removes it entirely from the, from the actor. So you can do that for this as well. So I'll use the, uh, the shortcut this time, alt enter. So I'll click on it, alt enter, pops it up. I'll type in number and then I will remove it. Do not display on symbol. Uh, so we got two more. And so what I'll do on this one is I'll use the alt uh, shortcut. So alt, and then I'll select this and it will select all of the actors on the screen. Another way I could do that is just by selecting them like that. Um, so I will right click symbol properties. So I'm doing both of these at the same time now. And uh, then you can go down here and find the numbering. So element number display mode. I could also type it in there, but this time I just found it. it says do not display on symbol. And now it is gone. We still do have our numbering right here. So if you want it gone, gone from the model, then you can right click and go to element numbering and it will show you the numbering of all the actors right here. So, and what you can do is you can remove them um, if, if you really want them gone. And then click, when I click OK, this 145 will be gone. 145. And then you can do the same with the use case. You can change its number or you can delete it. So that's how to change the numbers, remove them from the diagram and from the model. Hope that helps.